What up, what up? It's your man T. Hey, I just had a couple of things on my mind. I uh, wanted to get off my chest, so let me breathe on you for a minute. I was uh, searching around and ran across a fragrance that I had and I saw it's been discontinued. And so I was just curious because I picked up the fragrance for about $26, $30. And for a 4.2 ounce bottle, the cheapest I found it brand new was like $180. Man, this discontinued business just makes fragrances do crazy things or people of the fragrances do crazy things. I'm, I'm like, so needless to say, I pulled it out of the, the back stash today and figured I'd give it a wearing. And I have every intention on trashing it and talking about how there's no way on God's green earth that this fragrance can be even a hundred dollar fragrance and it is this it's that is that but I sprayed it on today and realized that if I said that that would be a damn lie that's a good fragrance that's a good fragrance mm. like the bottle cool bottle looking design nice scent projection was pretty good longevity was nice man I tried, I tried, I tried to trash it. I did, I did. Because I was thinking at $180, that's just insane, which it still is. But I was gonna say that if you paid a dollar over 50, you're out of your mind. That would be a lie. This is solid, it's really good. Uh, it has this leather, leathery, benzoin vanilla, kind of tonka bean, has a sweet, powdery kind of fragrance to it and I came to the conclusion after I thought about it I came to the conclusion that getting this for $26 was borderline a crime <laughs> this was a steal it really was and I, I just had forgotten about it but it is extremely good and I can I can see how some might think it's somewhat feminine it can come off that way with the powdery leather sweet kind of vibe it can come off that way but man, that's a solid fragrance i can't even i can't hate on it it's real nice but um that's all i was thinking about i just you know just wanted to touch down on that after i saw those uh those prices through the roof and the whole discontinued business that just makes me cringe every time i hear a fragrance is discontinued but also at the same time i also figured let that be a lesson that if you find a steal like this and it's going to be discontinued, pick it up. Because now I would venture to say that this is so tough to get yeah, and get it for bang for the buck that people just should have picked it up years ago when it was $30. It was, it was well worth it, extremely well worth it. I just wish I would have got the EDP as well. This is a 4.2 ounce EDT but solid, solid fragrance that I'm glad I, I actually pulled the trigger on it. But anybody else got experience with uh, Midnight in Paris? Van Cleef and Arpels, Midnight in Paris. Cool looking bottle. But yeah, if anybody else has any experience, what you think about it, what you think about the scent, whether you picked it up when it was a good price or whether you, you know, got it broke off in you trying to get it recently. But that's all I had, just my thoughts on it. I tried to dislike it, tried to hate on it, can't do it. I gotta be honest, <laughs> I really do. But that's all, until next time, hey, y'all be cool.